work second. Bluebells and autumn leaves. You had Miss Grant as your teacher, didn't you? Wheezed my mother. She's just died. Look. She pointed at the obituary notice in the local paper. Suddenly it all came back to me. That first day at school my mother had left me in the playground, surrounded by other children, all bigger than me. A whistle blew. The noise stopped and the children filed into the school building. I did not know which row to join so I simply followed a girl with pigtails. When I entered the classroom everyone looked at me. A large motherly lady took me by the hand and said, You're in the wrong class. You'll be in Miss Grant's class. Come on, I'll show you. Miss Grant was tall and thin, with dark eyes and sallow skin. She had a high-pitched nasal voice which made everything she said sound threatening. She pointed to a seat next to a boy with a running nose. Sit with George. He'll tell you what to do. Children. This is Joe Green. Say hello to him. I tried very hard to please Miss Grant but somehow everything always turned out wrong. In the autumn she drew a tree on a sheet of brown paper pinned to the wall. Now children. It's autumn. The leaves turn yellow and red and brown. Then they fall off the trees. Here is some colored paper. I want you to cut out some nice leaves. Then we'll paste the leaves on the tree and make a nice picture. We cut out our leaves, then went one by one to paste them onto the trees. I was one of the last. Miss Grant gave a little cry of alarm. But you've stuck them on upside down, Joe. Can't you see? By then the leaves were stuck fast, it was too late. I had spoiled her tree. Just before Christmas, we made paper chains from strips of colored paper as decorations. I made a longer chain than anyone else in the class. Surely she would be pleased with me. But when she came to my desk her voice rose in a wail. But you've stuck them the wrong way round. She whined. Can't you see? The colored part has to be on the outside not on the inside. How can we see the pretty colors if they're on the inside? What am I going to do with you? In the spring she told us about flowers. Obviously she liked flowers a lot. So what wild flowers do we find in spring? Violets? Yes. Anemones? Yes. Anything else? Do you know my favorites? Yes, bluebells. But we have to respect nature. Lots of people pick them. That's wicked. We should leave them in their natural home. So, she liked bluebells. That was all I remembered. The next Sunday I went into the woods and picked an enormous bunch which I put in a bucket of water till Monday morning. I entered the classroom full of pride. Now she would be pleased. Joe, she screamed. I told you never to pick flowers. Don't you ever listen? And she threw my lovely bluebells into the waste paper basket. Next day I went to the cemetery. There were a few bunches of faded flowers on her grave. Smiling to myself, I replaced them with an enormous bunch of bluebells. 